Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tap the Good Spiritual Counseling and Transformational Coaching Services. I'm your host, Dr. Mpali Nkana Mori. Today's inspiration is a quotation from my book, Quotations, Counseling and Affirmations, a guidance to reignite your emotional wellness, immerse into your infinite peaceful nature and activate unconditional self-love. Now, before we get into the inspirational counseling session, please remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I record a video. All right, let's get into it. The affirmation today. Now, let's begin with the quotation. Don't give up because things don't make sense. The immortal part of you doesn't need senses to make things happen. Again, don't give up because things don't make sense. The immortal part of you doesn't need senses to make things happen. Now the counseling session. Your senses are limited to your conditioning and your psychic. What you see is a projection of what you don't see with your physical eyes. Just because you can't make sense of something doesn't mean that it doesn't or will never exist. For instance, can you make sense of how electricity works? I can't. Can you make sense of the law of gravity and how or when it was created? I can't. But doesn't it work? It does. The creator who created this entire universe is the same creator in you. The immortal part of you. The one you cannot see and the one you cannot not be. Affirmation. God dwells within me and as me, everything is possible. God dwells within me and as me, everything is possible. God dwells within me and as me. So everything is possible. A little bit of an, an addition to that. Just because things are not working out or nothing seems to be making sense at this particular moment. You've been waiting for something, you know, to materialize. If you've been waiting for some great news or you've been waiting for something to happen you've been waiting for a very long time and it doesn't make sense because you've done everything you can according to your knowledge you've invested all you can or you've worked on yourself all you can or you've uh, done all the plans or taken all the actions that you could but still you are not realizing your heart's desire don't give up don't give up because God is timeless and your plans are timeful our understanding, your understanding as a human being is best on time. Timeful understanding is best, is projected from your subconscious mind. It's a habit. It depends on your beliefs, you know, and your wishes and your conditioning. But understanding beyond understanding is the ability to realize that what you know is not really the truth. It is relevant and related to time. But what you don't know and what you can't know is God. Because remember, God gets everything done without doing a thing. God gets everything done without doing anything in the human sense of way. You know, God will get something done without you seeing, raising his hands. It's not even a he or she. But without seeing that force of creation, raising its hand, its hands or clapping or screaming, oh my God, I'm going to do it. No, God does not work that way. Okay. God gets things done without doing anything without doing anything that a human eye, a human physical eye, or the senses can see or feel, unless of course you are in tune. So relax. Worry does nothing. It does absolutely nothing except buy you stress and take away your connection. Of, of course it can take away, but make you believe that you're disconnected from your true pure self. All right, guys. 
Again, the affirmation is God dwells within me and as me, everything is possible. God dwells within me and as me, everything is possible. Love and light.